Hello YouTube and all you fossil lovers out there. So today we're going to take a look at some fossils that we pulled out of some gravel. This comes from a creek that is south of the Sulphur River, which is south of Paris, Texas. And this was a small creek or river that uh, a friend of mine owns the land to, and he has sorted out the gravel, sifted it and sorted it out for the larger things. He looks for some shark's teeth and other fossils, but his eyes are not as good as what they used to be, so he can only sort for the bigger stuff. And he was just throwing the the findings, the shift, the, sorry, the siftings, I forget what it's called, um, into his driveway and I told him to save some for me so he saved a bucket of it for me actually I think it was a bucket and a half and from that we uh, sifted it or we just searched it we um, this all comes from about three cups worth of worth of uh, small gravel pieces that we have sifted and I'm gonna bring you up close on this today we're gonna look at it through the uh, magnification lens and see this stuff up close. There's some really neat things and I'll go through it with you what I think we have and some call outs for uh, identification help. And all of this, if you want to see any still photos, I'm also going to take some of those and put those on the Fossil Forum website. So you can go over there if you want to see some more. All right. Thanks for joining me. Let's have a look. All right. The first thing that we have here I was super excited and amazed that uh, out of about three cups of gravel, we found three of these rhombodus, R-H-O-M-B-O-D-U-S, rhombodus ray teeth. I don't know exactly what type of ray they were. Uh, this is the bottom, that, that little line right there is the nutrient groove. This is the top of one, but it's, it's fairly worn. That one has seen a lot of wear in the creek. And then this one is the biggest and kind of the best. So there's the top surface on the left and then the nutrient groove and the root on the right. And you can see the line of the nutrient groove right there. And the teeth are kind of a, a diamond or a rhombodus shape. Pretty cool. Then we have this little one was one of the nicer of the shark teeth. And that right there, I believe, is a Creto or Credo Lamna. And I think the book says that with the shape of the curve there, it's a anterior lateral tooth. Now what this would have been from is like a mackerel shark or a cousin to the mackerel shark. Okay, And this would have been a smaller one right here. Um, I believe they got fairly large. All right, now of the next things, I'm not sure if I'm going to need to get how much closer, but we'll try to look at them real quick and then see how that goes. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to search through all of this gravel that we got because we are in the midst of moving. And we'll see if we take it with us. Now what I believe this one to be is one of the pavement teeth, this is the underside of it, of the um, pycnodont, P-Y-C-N-O-D-O-N-T. It's a type of bony fish, and they had a whole pavement. Some of them were oval um, or P, long P-shaped, or I guess it'd be bean, long bean-shaped teeth, um, but they had a pavement of these that they used for crushing. There we go. That's that side of it. Bring it over here to the middle. So it's just a little a little dome, but they had a whole pavement of these things, and they would use those to crush shells or other things. All right. I'm going to move some more stuff into place and bring you right back. All right. So here's some of the smaller things that we found. That right there looks very much like a incidus tooth which was a type of fish a bony fish and so I don't know if this was the incidus or just a smaller um, fish with some sharp teeth 
that right there, that shell is not a fossil. It was just real neat. It's transparent, just about transparent, translucent, freshwater snail shell. This right here, let me see if it's focusing on that. I don't know how well that's going to show up. Let me see if I can get it. That right there is a small vertebra. Probably of a fish, maybe from that fish right there. See, so you can see the concavity. Uh, you're not going to be able to see it that well. Well, on some of the up close photographs that I take, I'll try to capture some of the concavity. And it's got a little projection. I just turned it around so you can't see it on the other side. So this end and that end, the front end and the back end, um, have the concavity. Now this was an exciting one for me because at first I thought I had found a Ichiriza Mira oral tooth, but uh, upon further inspection, I realized that it's not. Let's see if I'm going to be able to do this. Yeah, it's too dark. So I'm not able to get it turned over yet, but actually the lighting changed a little bit better there on the vertebra. And then you can see the nutrient groove right there on this one. So it, it, it has a similar design as the ray tooth. There you can see it. Now I'll see if I can get it uh, flipped over. Tooth right here belongs to basically a stingray, fossil stingray. And it's um, what I believe the name or identification on it is the Tycho Trigon, P-T-Y-C-H-O-T-R-Y-G-O-N, Triangularis. All right, I have it precariously perched right now, but you can see the um, up and down the little um, ridge that goes across it, and there's one toward the front too. But it's just going to flip over whenever I lift it up enough. So it's got these ridges there. And that was just a grinding tooth. So I hope you're able to see that. Hopefully I'll get some better photos. I moved the vertebra around a little bit as well. I believe that's the opposite side of what was just showing. And then there in the middle is a triggerfish tooth. And triggerfish... Um, was a small type of fish. It's edible. It may be a sunfish related, um, but this is a fossil triggerfish tooth, and we found whole ones before. There's a little bit more root that that is usually on them, or I mean, if it's complete, and then sometimes the the tooth looks almost like a cat's claw because it will be a little bit more curved there on the front, and then right next to it is a tiny little piece of I believe it's coral, but I'll have somebody from the fossil forum correct me if I'm not right on that. Just a little piece of almost microscopic coral. You can kind of see some of the holes from it. All right, that's the majority of things. I've got a couple things in baggies. I'm going to pull them out, and let's see what we have. Here are two more vertebra, tiny, tiny vertebra that one of my kids found. I'm not sure which uh, which one this one is. It looks a little bit different than the other. But you can see the the concavity a little bit. Oops, I'm just spinning it around. All right, well let's just bring this one over. So you can see, I mean, it they look almost just like their adult cousins or adult counterparts, but they are just tiny. You can see these, uh, that's one centimeter across from there to there. So, you know, each one of those dashes is a millimeter. So let's see if I can, sorry about that. So it's like two millimeters wide by maybe just over two in diameter, maybe two to three in diameter. Pretty cool, huh? All right, here's some neat ones. This one is some type of a coral. It's got the a hollow part.
part with the branch coming off of it. This right here is is a little uh, reptilian, whether it be a crocodile or mosasaur baby tooth. I'll move this one out of the way and see if I can't um, get it to focus on that one. Well, if you can see it, let me move it forward a little bit. You can see the concavity there at the top of the tooth. This one next to it is the crown of what I believe to be the Ichiriza Mira oral tooth. It's just a very worn crown with most of or all of the root material removed. Um, I don't know if this is a, is it a Bryozoan? Let me scoot this over. I don't know if that's Bryozoan or just um, coral. This is just the tiniest, let me move again, hold on. little uh, shark tooth, complete shark tooth. It's got the cusps there. And get focused. Alright, let me move some of these others out of the way so that I think maybe there's some shadow. Let's see if I can focus now. I don't think it's focusing in. Sorry about that. Um, back of the tooth, but it's complete, and it's just the tiniest little shark tooth. There you go, it's a little bit better. And there's another trigger fish. So we pulled out some really cool stuff from all this collection. I know I'm a little bit slow because I'm uh, trying to show all the little fine things in detail, so the video is not as exciting as a huge mosasaur tooth, but I hope those that really like fossils enjoyed it. And like I say, I'm going to try to take some still photos and have those over at the Fossil Forum. Thanks so much for watching. Y'all take care. Have a great day.